Good afternoon, everyone. Well, first of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here presenting the project that has taken a lot of work, a lot of research, a big, a big effort, a lot of hard work. I will try to be brief, short, and I hope I'm, I'm, I'm clear in my explanation. I don't have much time. As some of you might know, or you might have heard of, or you might have been implementing it yourself, this project is on Live 5. Live 5 is a VLC based term, visible light communication. That means that through light, we can also have and uh, take the internet to places where the internet might not otherwise reach. I will speak about three stages to this project. Why, how this project was carried out and the results. Why was it carried out? Well, very simply because, I mean, we were based at a hospital in Bolivia for this project. As some of you might know, in different areas of the hospital, maybe the imaging area or the OR area, it is forbidding to use any sort of rate of frequency. Why? Because there might be a clash of frequency between the equipment that the physicians need. That's why there is copper mesh around the hospital to prevent any frequency from coming in or out or frequencies from, from clashing. So Li-Fi is an alternative because it operates over the terahertz. That, that's why in this presentation, as you can see on screen, this is a model of how the project was conducted and how was how it was implemented. And, and still ongoing, and the research still ongoing as well. Here we can see a standard. I triple E has a standard for optical means is A02157. We can see the physical layer, the optical medium for the LED light cells. This is a simple architecture for a Li-Fi network and how it works within a server that is connected to the network, either through optic fiber or Ethernet cable. Within the hospital, the hospital itself had a network in place, a category six network and the Li-Fi network was attached to to this and we will see it in further detail. We use different variables across the project. One of them is the light and the lighting design to see how many lights were, how many lumens were needed and based on that to go ahead with the design and the prototype for data transmission, transmission and reception. As I mentioned before, the places within the hospital where we needed it the most were in, in areas where the network was uh, forbidden. For example, the OR, as you can see, the delivery room as well, where physicians themselves need to know in real time what is happening or they need to access or to carry out a real time study. So they need an alternative. I developed a prototype to be able to transmit data in real time from the delivery room uh, the OR in this case to the hospital's data center. This is a, a very short sketch of how the doctor can go ahead and run these tests 
while requesting data and at the same uh, and request data to the data center. When I was working on this project and working on the prototype, of course, a lot of research went into it. So one of the problems was that lead lights, uh, not only we had lead lights at the hospital, but also fluorescent lights as well. And these can be very noisy while data transmission is ongoing. That's why we built the prototype. We decided to use a filter that wouldn't cause more more noise as the fluorescent light on the in, in the either OR or the delivery room or other rooms. This slide shows well basically the same how it works how Li Fi works and the, the, the transfer of the light's beam to the receptor. This is the design. The hospital already had the wiring in place, the network wiring, but we also went ahead with a fiber optic design in the same area. The yellow line that you can see on screen shows the fiber optic cable and the design. And this is one of the results of one of the simulations that were conducted to see the, the gain. In red is the total gain in data transmission for that beam. And to conclude my presentation, I would like to say that, well, this was a project that was well, led by me. Really research took a long time and the implementation took a long time. And at the same time, this is, this was a project that where we not only ran many tests during the implementation, but we also made many, many mistakes, or there were many mistakes. The implementation worked. The project is still ongoing. We are still improving the project. We did not invent the concept of Li-Fi. It already exists in, in Europe. What we did is we, I tried to replicate this to cover a need for access to the, the network in, in Bolivia and to find another alternative to the solutions that we can find today. We are not trying to replace Wi-Fi. We all know that the Wi-Fi router is what allows us access to the internet in most settings. But Li-Fi is an alternative where we can transfer data over one terabyte. And the access network is quite important, especially, well, for us as engineers, we need a lot of information in real time that it doesn't go through wiring or something that it's something not not tangible lighting in this case this is an alternative for the future i know that li-fi among other alternatives in the future will become more widespread and it will be very important for the future as i mentioned before this technology is in place, it's being developed and enhanced. I'm still running more tests for a more efficient protocol.
and a smaller, a smaller protocol. Well, I think I, I went, uh, I rushed through the presentation, but if there are questions, please, uh, if you need more information, I am here and you can reach out to me. Thank you again to the organization for inviting me, for having selected my project, for having looked at my project and give me the opportunity to, to be up here to give you this very short presentation and maybe I will have a chance further on to, to go more in detail. Thanks again. Precio muy interesante la presentación y a mí me gustó mucho. Muchísimas gracias. That was a very interesting presentation. I think we have one question. Yes, we have one question in the Zoom from Julio Lopez. The question is data transmission through Li-Fi, is this done through normal bulbs or special bulbs? What device receives these? How is this conveyed or transmitted in either way? Thank you for your question and thank you very much for asking questions. This is conveyed exclusively through LED bulbs because that is a transmission means whereby it has been, this technology has been designed and the receivers are phototransistors uh, in the transmitters and I include this in a small solar panel as small as possible because this is a way of receiving the light beams from the lead source. Thank you for your question. Well, there's one more question. And that is a very interesting concept. I would like to know the following. You spoke about the speeds. Could you please remind me the speeds that you will be able to reach? And the second question is the coverage. So what is the distance we can consider, at least what is expected? And the further point is speed coverage and how do you consider managing potential interference that you might have with other light sources that are not part of this system? Thank you very much for your question. And to answer your different points, the interference is managed through optic filters. There are many different filters. There were there was the fluorescent light, which did give us quite a large no amount of problems when implementing this. So I put an optic filter, a blue optic filter, in order to filter out all the interferences that you might have. The second, secondly, the visible mean is, is 400 nanometers to 800 nanometers. That is a visible spectrum which allows us to see all the different colors. And this is then transformed to frequencies, which is light speed versus the anometers. This is the transmission speed that is more than 150 terahertz, up to 400 more or less. So these are very high transmission speeds. And as I mentioned when in my presentation, those speeds cannot be reached by no other means that is not palpable through fiber optic or some other type of means that exists. Simon Perez from Internet Society, Panama Chapter. From what I understand, you use lead diodes. So understand transmission is more similar to an end-to-end -end radio link compared to cellular types of transmission. So the end-to-end -end links used to do interference studies with trigonometry. So I recall that for the purpose of these studies, one used to use the antenna beam so is this a mathematical study because, for example, in Panama, when the mobile telcos request a frequency to do a radio link, they conduct these studies and basically they have to present the mathematical 
uh, information or do you use this with filters and based on a thumb estimation? Well, of course, every project is supported by the mathematical information. And quite obviously, as I mentioned when I started, is not something that I'm just making up. This already exists. For many years now, we use visible light communication. This arose, the, the concept of Li-Fi, the term arose in France, and the company that is developing this is called Poor Light Fi. Professor Hara Hassett has been working this. It is based on mathematical models and describes how this was implemented. I based my bibliography on those documents that I read as well as other scientific papers, but that is one of the most important ones. As I mentioned, this technology already exists. This is available in the market particularly with this company, which is Pure Light Wi-Fi. I replicated this and more in accordance with the reality of my country. La Paz is more than 3,500 meters above sea level. There is a term which is called ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. That is not the same in cities that are at sea level compared to those that are much higher above the sea level. There's an, something else in the project which I did not present here, which is a study to determine how non-ionizing radiation Wi-Fi affects the context at heights. So, thank you very much. So, I understand these will be more like filters, like the audio filters. The point is that this is like plug and play. You don't have to do a mathematical analysis like having radio links for mobile telephones. It's like audio filters to figure this out. No, it's a good analogy, yes, but basically it's something like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Entonces, gracias, Richard, por Thank you, Richard, for your presentation. A big round of applause for our speaker. A continuación, y como 